This video will show you how I've increased a website's traffic from 700 visitors a day all the way up to over 3,000 visitors a day in a short six months. These are simple tactics. These are SEO tactics that you can do. It's very easy. So follow along. I'll show you exactly what I did to make this happen. Now, my first step is always looking at the competition. Let's say we had a website on chainsaws and we go to answer Socrates. We're going to use a lot of tools. We're going to use Ahrefs. We're going to use Google. We're going to use ChatGPT. But let's say we go here and we're going to find a question. Let's say, how often do chainsaws need sharpen? And this is a long, a literal long phrase. In other words, that's a lot of words, right? To, so for someone to type into Google. So let's type it in and see who's representing this Bob Via. Okay, great. I don't want to come head to head with them. My goal right now is to find a website to kind of latch on to. Garden Tool Expert, Together Time Family. This looks like a strictly affiliate website. Look at this thing. I mean, look, th this, this is what I'm looking for often. So how I go about it, I'm going to copy and paste this URL into the site explorer right here because I want a relative domain authority to see if we can compete. 32, traffic's up. They took a little hit on traffic right there. So let's keep exploring. Let's see here. Together Time Family. Same thing. It's an affiliate website. These websites I'm showing you are the same exact types of websites that you're going after. You want to build these types of websites. Now look here, let's wait for the orange to come in. Okay, they built this up and then it kind of crashed a bit, but I'm gonna look at organic keywords. So the goal here is to find, what do these guys rank for? Because it's not a super powerful website. All right, how far apart to plant zucchini? So they talk about all kinds of things, but keep in mind, we have a chainsaw website, right? So I wanna find anything pertaining to chainsaws. So we're gonna show results. Let's see what comes up, dot, dot, dot. Electric chainsaw oil type. They have a position number one, a snippet right there. It has a volume of 60. Wonderful. We're going to take these keywords. We are going to copy these keywords and we're going to push them to chat GPT. Now, a lot of people mess this up. What is the purpose of AI tools? It's to just expedite this process, right? So let's say create content hubs based upon these words, right? Boom. All right. There's all the words we had. Okay. Introduction, article one, do battery power. So all of a sudden, we have articles that ChatGPT has given us based upon a website that we know we can compete against. Do you feel me? Competition. We have to find the competition we can compete against. Now, I am all about multiplying my time throughout the day. So I typed in chainsaws up here in Ahrefs, matching terms. So everything pertaining to chainsaws is represented here. We have about half a million different visitors a month typing in all of these different things, right? But there's a problem here. There's a big, big problem, right? We cannot compete for all of these. So how can we figure out what we can compete against? We type in lowest DR. This means, check this out. 15 in the top five. That means within these results, we just kind of refined it. Look, there's only 31,000 now. Within these, we know there's one website that's a weak website. And now these keywords here, we can compete against a 15, a DR15 website. We could change that stat a bit, but this is how I do it. Now, something else, this is something a lot of people do not do, but you should do with competition, right? We found all these websites. Write down your competition and what you can do. Okay, this is what they're ranking for. That's cool and all, but what we can do is go to the homepage. What are their recent articles they're writing about? I'm curious. I'm curious what my competition is spending time on. When you deal in big niches that have a lot of money associated with them, it's a war. It's a war between websites. That's just a fact. You need to figure out who your competition is and what they are writing right now. Now, after we got through the competition and I have them all written down, do you feel me? I always reference back to competition. We are going to talk about the structure of the website and then write in the darn thing. Now, keep in mind, I have a masterclass where I go over this in details, eight plus hours long, intense SEO masterclass. It's an advanced masterclass, right? But when you structure your website, let's just be clear. I'm going to touch on this very, very shortly, very small. I'm not going to go in depth on here, but listen, structuring the website is this. You need to blanket a topic. You need to make sure you're talking about all the things you should be talking about. How do you know what you should be talking about? Look at your competition and then ask yourself or even ask ChatGPT, I've written these articles. What else should I write about? Right? Because Google knows if it comes to your website, it doesn't have to search the internet for all the different topics. If it comes to your website and you're the resource, people know this too, and you will rank higher. 
Now let's talk about write-in. This is always my spreadsheet. I always use this for every client, every website. Why? It's a very particular way of going about this. We can make notes as we go. We have tier one articles, notes, tier two articles, notes, because what we are, we are hunter-gatherers. We are trying to find keywords to write about. And as we go through this process, guess what? Thoughts bubble up. And when thoughts bubble up, it's my job as an SEO to give you notes, right? Because we often have teams of writers, but nonetheless, Let's go back here. Let's just grab this. Let's be lazy for a second. I'm okay with being lazy uh, for a second. Let's say, give me tier one articles from these and tier two articles, right? Tier two articles are of lesser importance. That's not true, but I just want to see how it does with all these. Goodness gracious. Look at, look at, look at. Okay, article two, article. All right, let's see. Are you giving me tier one and tier two? Tier one articles. Oh, it is. It is. It is. All right. All right. Give me tier two articles. Wonderful. Let's see what it does. Tier two articles. Can chainsaws be stored vertically? Can chainsaws cut through metal? This is perfect. Those are actually tier two. And like this one right up here, a comprehensive guide, right, to chainsaws. You're going to need this on your website, obviously, right? Um, maintenance and safety. That's good too. We would have this in a new tab, but for the purposes of this, we're going to keep it here and let's go down to some tier two. Uh, can chainsaws be stored vertically? All right, cool. Now let's take out this one, a comprehensive guide. Okay, can chainsaws be stored vertically? Uh, these are all good. These are all good. So what we would have, this is what it looks like when we get through with it. We have a tier one article, one tier one article per Google Sheet, right? You could always create a new tab down here. And then a tier two article that references back and these can reference in a very specific way. Like I said, I have the masterclass to show you exactly how to do this. But let's say we wanted to write this article right here. Can chainsaws be stored vertically? Now, if you've lasted this long in the video, I appreciate you. Listen, please subscribe. But this is where all the value is right here, right here. I'm going to show you exactly what I do, right? This is how our team does it. This is how our agency does it. So we have a Google Sheet. The Google Sheet will link back to the master. But all we do is this. I mean, this is not rocket science, people. Type in the query into Google. All right, control click, control click, control click on the top three. Do you feel me? We're gonna come down here. We're gonna use SEO meta in one click. People always ask me, what is that? What is it? You know, what is that um that 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 plugin, that Chrome? It's called SEO meta in one click. And I'm gonna grab, right? And I'm gonna come here. This is an affiliate website. Look at this. I can show you how I know. You know, I'm not gonna tell you. I bet you someone can comment in the uh in, in the comments of this video how do i know this is an affiliate website this one right here how do i know that and then this one let's grab all of these let's grab all the headers we're grabbing all the headers now keep in mind we have a team to do this every single time every query we have a team and it goes a bit further a bit deeper if you want to learn like i said the master class then we are going to say grab all the top three because google shows us right and this is what we have very very simple i want to write an article on query you can put any query there for my website here's my competitors headers please use these as inspiration only and create a new header structure in your own words for seo purposes da 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 and it gives it to me here it is wonderful i said rewrite it with markdown and do not include the h tags bada bing bada boom what i like to do sometimes is we're going to take it we're going to take it we're going to copy it i'm going to say can you make this more comprehensive right boom Let's see here. Chapter one, look at this. Sometimes, listen, sometimes ChatGPT needs a new chat because it has the memory of the previous one. It knows what you asked it before. Sometimes open a new chat and get going with it, right? So I'm gonna say um, rewrite with no chapters, but instead use H tags for a website, right? Because it didn't know that we were, were doing a website because it was a new chat. So let's see what it comes up with, H2, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So it's going to keep on going with it. And all of a sudden, look at H2s nested into H3s. I'm really happy with this. All of a sudden, we have an outline to follow for our writers. Is this too hard? Sometimes we use writers 100% and we do not use AI tools such as Word Galaxy, ChatGPT, and Claude. And sometimes we do. If we decide to use Word Galaxy, it's very easy. We can just push it here, the keywords up here. And sometimes you've seen videos where we used additional keywords. You can inject particular keywords into an article. We didn't do it on this one, but nonetheless, you can see here, it spits out a pretty darn large article. Now, you know, large doesn't always rank, right? Large is good, but it doesn't always rank. But 
It's an absolutely excellent way to get something to our writers to expedite the process. Let me ask you a question. If you were writing, say, 50 articles a week, do you think this would speed you up just a bit? Certainly. And you're dictating the headers. And the headers are based upon competition. This is a really, really good way to go about it. So like I said, although it's 7,000 words, right? That's a lot of words because we had a lot of headers. It doesn't mean it's going to rank. But you can chop and, you know, cut and add and add data. There's other videos where I'm showing you how to add data right but bottom line is if you can figure out your competition where's the google sheet we had the competition what are they doing all right structure the website check out the master class but write in the darn thing there's particulars there too but listen to me this is a rinse and repeat process once you have your google sheet here you are literally just busting out articles in a very concise defined way and that defined way like i said the master class but listen there has to be a very particular way of how these words show up on the screen uh, i mean you can post this as is word galaxy chat gpt claude but i'm telling you if you go in and edit in a very particular way and give google and give the users what they want you're going to rank better now listen i know it was a good video when we finished the glass right a whole thing of tea. I think we we're halfway through when we started, but I'm going to have a link in the description and here too. If you can't click it here, go to the description. This video really parlays into what we're talking here. You can build upon your knowledge. YouTube is great for that free material, right? If you want to dive deeper, check out the masterclass and I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.